Well, we were going over to the other house today to give you a look at the third floor and the uh, stuff they're doing. But of course the heavens has opened up. It's not going to be a very good day today apparently. So we're not going to be able to do that. So what I thought we'd do is give you a look. And I know you're going to find it very exciting. <laughs> but I've actually replaced the board on my computer and I've replaced the cooling system and then I've gone to fire it up so we'll discuss the outcome when I went to fire it up and also my printer I've uh, totally upgraded it well not upgraded modified it and uh, I've got it to work. It's actually printing and it's printing really quite good. Um, but obviously it would have been nice not to have to uh, do the kind of things I've done to it. So if you're thinking of a 3D printer, do not get a CR10 unless you are very handy at doing upgrades and modifying things and soldering and all the rest of it because uh, you're going to be greatly upset because uh, some of the things you're going to have to put up with <laughs> look at the kids they're always out in the rain this is what they do they love it you are baby so far yeah are you going to go down there and show them? Right, so here's my working printer and I don't know if your memory serves you well where you can remember how it looked yeah. but I've put these supports in to support here so that if I do a large item that comes up to here then it's not going to wobble it's solid so I've done that I've upgraded that now this was in here and the motherboard now look is in here so what I did was I put everything on here so I could move it about it was easy to move it about everything's on there the filament also. yeah I've put the filament up here this one. instead of down there and then I've put the power supply on here and then I've put a little switch in there look for the lights so I've put these LEDs in to light it all up so it's really bright and clear. So I've, I've done a lot to it. I've uh, silenced the uh, motors a bit by putting some rubber dampeners in, in between there. You can't see it because they're really thin. Um, I've put a new Bowden tube on. I've put a new extruder on. Uh, pretty much different to what it was before um, what I'm going to do here is this bracket here is a bit too high so I'm going to print a lower bracket so I can hide these because there's too many wires it looks a little bit bad I can't do anything with these because if this raises these have to be loose to raise now I told you a while ago when I showed you the 3D printer that I was into Star Wars and I'm actually into Terminator as well so I'm doing the Terminator skull don't know if you can see it very well but it's starting to see there's the teeth here look and it's like a two and a half day print nearly three day print takes a long time 
there's no mess. It's no, more. it's going to be clean. There's little yeah. little bits of flakes, but they'll just, with me nail, they'll like just come off. No, they'll not, just come off. Not like before, right? Oh, before Remember? we couldn't get it to stick to the bed or nothing. Uh, before I put this tube on, I printed this and put a sponge in and put oil in it and it helped. Yeah, it helps. It, uh, it printed a lot better, but now I've put the new Bowden tube on. Um, it's printing a lot better. Now people have asked to um, see this for me to do another video to show them how things have come on. Now this is my success story because yeah. everything's <laughs> working fine. Uh, no, stressful. I, yeah. Stress. I, oh god, yeah, it was stressful. I had a bit of a problem with the heated bed when I took everything out. The bed wasn't heating up, but I've I've repaired that. I've sorted that. So that's about it. Everything's going great with that. I'm really happy, really happy uh, about that. Yeah. And then, by the way, I know about one of your subscribers comment to you about why you buy a printer than the freezer to my mom mm. right yeah and this is this is i bought this for you right and yeah. then um it's not a, a responsibility responsible Responsibility. Not our responsibility to yeah. buy your mum a freezer. Yeah, exactly. Basically, this guy, along with uh, a few others that I blocked, um, I don't know where people come from <laughs> to think they can make comments like him. But we'll concentrate on this guy. And basically, his comment was, um, "What? Uh, why haven't you changed your will immediately for them kids?" And the other comment was, you could have bought a uh, you could have bought a freezer with the money you've spent on that useless printer. Now you know, at the end of the day, we're showing you our day-to-day -day lives. We're not showing you videos for you to comment and tell us how to live, what to spend our money on, blah blah blah. Yeah, and, then and I find it very offensive. Yeah. So obviously, this guy's been blocked. And you wanted to say something about the will now as yeah, well. Yeah, because uh, before we married, I'm so I'm happy to because we have a um, called prenuptial. Prenuptial. So I'm happy to sign sign there that I'm agree that uh, everything you had, I'm not. It's not I'm. It's not mine, right? Like that. Yeah. And then even even your will, you did not change. I can manage that. Yeah, bless you. Well, I mean, the, th the thing because is... Wait, lah, because I'm, I'm married to you, not because of the money or or anything you have like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, you wanted to to mention, I'll get over to where it's a bit lighter, babe. You wanted to mention... Yeah, about, I know, married, married, married to a Filipina or girlfriend, hmm. careful about that, don't spend money for them. Mm. Especially, like for example, to buy a land, house, and that. Mm -hmm. Because you have no, you have no one hundred percent sure about that if what will happen in yeah. the future. Right. Well, we've spoke about this a lot, haven't we? About people, and and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with you meeting somebody on the internet I mean that basically is the only yeah, way you can meet a lot of Filipinas yeah. is, or wherever it is you're going in Asia but we seem to lose um, a lot of common sense me me as well you know I, I did the same thing you know it I suppose it's a case of do as I say not as I do where I'm concerned because I did exactly what I'm telling you not to do a lot of people have, have written to me privately and this, that and the other. I'm always getting messages and unfortunately I get a lot of bad stories than I do good. And to come over here after knowing somebody a few months or even a couple of years talking to them on the internet, yeah. that doesn't mean you know them. Yeah. You know, you know what they want you to know about them. 
and Mel would be the first to admit that when the honeymoon period's over, you know, the Filipina won't be as uh, attentive as what they are initially. But you get that everywhere. You get that when you're dating in the UK or the US or whatever. Everything's wonderful and then when reality kicks in, that's when things change. So, look, this, this other guy says, you know, you, you uh, bloggers, you're over there for a little while and all of a sudden you're an expert. Everything I say is my opinion. You know, you, you can take it with a pinch of salt, take it or leave it, do whatever you want. A lot of my videos, sorry, a lot, all of my videos are about me and Mel and me two babies, you know, and what we're doing on a daily basis and my, look at that handsome man. And then my leap in the dark has is, is worked out, you know, I found a lovely woman that oh, thank you very much. that looks after me and, you know, loves her kids, looks after her kids. She doesn't ask for any money. You know, the, the freezer, I've always said on different videos, haven't I, that your mum's never asked me for nothing and she hasn't, yeah. right? But so the, the so freezer, let, just let me finish, baby, I'll forget. <laughs> Sorry to cut you off. Uh, but the freezer, she is desperate for a new freezer because it's part of the shop. Yeah. If, she can't, if she can't freeze stuff, then she's losing money. And that's why she come to me. It's the very first time she come and only because she were desperate. And, and I know she's desperate for a new freezer. But I can't help her because we, have, we just haven't got the money ourselves. Um, and I was pretty uh, sad about it because I, I really didn't want to let her mum down because your mum still thinks that I have got the money and I probably just don't want to lend her it. So, um, anyway, sorry, um, what were you going to say? Sometimes you, offer, you, offer, you give my mum and then my mum, my mum, like, um, Right, sometimes I you try okay. and give your mum some money and she won't take yeah, it. Take it. Yeah. And that's the kind of family guys you want to get involved yeah. with. You know, if you're, if you're talking to somebody, you'll know pretty quickly whether they're genuine or not. Yeah, exactly. Because if they're not genuine, you're going to find out that everybody in the family's falling ill. You know, everybody needs money for this and needs money for that and they're desperate. You know, what did they do before, you know, you come on the scene? Yeah. You know, they manage. Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way 